then our course is clear. I will steer this magic box and we will find your daughter, whatever it takes. This place, it's... it's just mad. I fear madness is only the beginning. I've been trying to figure out how to steer the ship, but it doesn't seem to respond to any of my inputs. So, there's no way for us to actually get home at the end of all this? Have faith, Aaron. I'm sure all will be revealed in time. Faith? Faith in what? In you? I'd never met you before this morning, and now we're headed lord knows where in a rickety old police box. I wish I had the answers, Aaron. I really do. I asked you how far you'd be willing to go to bring your daughter home, and you said... To the end of the earth, I know. Well, it's time to face the reality that your promise may be more than just sentiment. I know, but you could make it a bit easier for me. Who even are you, Professor? What's your name? Ah, we seem to be on a collision course with a spatial temporal anomaly. Where'd you get that from? From the writing on the scanner. You could read that? Oh, yes. It seems I can. Fascinating. Oh, the ship still isn't responding. Looks like we have no choice. Brace for impact? Precisely. Oh, we're... We're alive. <laughs> it would seem so. Where do you suppose we are? Look at this ground. So smooth. I don't know, but the ship's in a bad shape. I'll need to take a look. Yes, this would seem to be the problem. Dimensional stabiliser, according to the readout. Let me take a look. I'm pretty handy. Careful, this is a highly intricate component for a space-time machine. I highly doubt that you'll be able to. Here, the magnesium in the cores burns out. We just need to replace it. Okay! Wow! <laughs> Excellent! What did you say you do? I'm a mechanic. Or... I was. Long story. Only problem is... Where are we going to find some magnesium in a place like this? That very much depends on where we are. Crikey, Prof. Are we... Yes, my boy. It would seem that we have been shrunk to a mere fraction of our original size. I don't understand. How did this just happen? Isn't it obvious? The dimensional stabiliser. Evidently it was the only thing keeping the inside and the outside of the box in proportion. And by extension, us too. Then we better hurry up and fix it so we can move on and find Chrissy. I found these in a wardrobe. Take one. They seem to have many different functions, including detecting different types of metal. How does it work? Just pull down on the handle and listen to the tone. I've aligned it to search for the magnesium, so if we split up, that should give us a good chance at finding some. Right. But how do we get down from here? Come on, Aaron. You're nearly there. I can't do it, Prof. Get the ship to hoist me back up. Nonsense. You're so close. Why don't I catch you? What? Just let go after three. Ready? One, two. Ooh. Ugh. Nice going. No matter. We're down now. Let's get cracking.
<sighs> of course. Hello? What on... Ugh. Whoa, slow down, lad. you've been busy. Very funny. Now what on earth was that? Well, nothing on earth I would think. Certainly not from our time. Well, you never know. They say the Russians are working on all kinds of things. I don't think it's Russian. Although, did you manage to scan it? I got a magnesium reading, if that's what you're thinking. Excellent. If we can somehow trap the creature, we may be able to dismantle it and take a small sample for ourselves. Right. Yes. Because trapping a giant alien rat should be no problem at all. It should be relatively simple, if we can find something to ensnare it. Ah, I may have just the thing. Oi! Over here! That's right, I'm over here! Come and get me! Better work, Prof. Now, Aaron, tie the end. Well done, Aaron. Fine job. Voila. One strip of magnesium. All this trouble over a tiny bit of metal. Funny how these things work out. Now, we need to figure out how this creature came to be here in the first place. Can't we just leave? We need to get back onto finding Chrissy. Think about it. The spatial temporal storm? The creature? What if none of it was an accident? What if somebody wanted us to end up here? What is that thing? A spatial transmitter, or a recall unit, if you will. It would have been used to bring the creature back to its masters once it had completed its task. And you think they might have Chrissy? I don't know. But it's the best lead we've got. I'll be able to determine its point of origin. Come on. Not what I was expecting. Me neither. Perhaps we're too late. This place seems to be long abandoned. Ah, a generator. Let's see if we can get some lights going. You're remarkably handy, Aaron. You said you used to be a mechanic. Yes. I was out in North Africa towards the end of the war. You learn to think on your toes. I'm sorry. That must have been hard. I don't know. Sorry? You asked me who I am, and the truth is, I don't know. I can't remember my name, where I'm from, who my family are, anything. I guess I never questioned it until I met you. 
All I know is that if somebody comes to me needing help and I have the power to help them, it would be wrong to refuse. Maybe that's why the box came to me. You needed help and now I have the power to help you. Ah, excellent job, Aaron. That wasn't me. I don't even think this generator's connected. Then, what was it? <laughs>